daughter was born to myself and my wife named Euphemia. Hello, darling Euphemia. You bring me pleasure in my middle age. 35. Oh god, that's middle age in this game. Pem, me, Pem, real life, I'm 33. Ugh. Middle age, 35. Boy. The cold depths of the grave are staring me down even now. Duke Grisha now favors himself. Of course he does. Now favors Duke Henrik. Okay, he can't make up his mind. Duke Friedrich now favors Prince Leopold. Good. Fine. Autosave. Uh, let's see. So 1136, huh? Well, I don't really know what else I should be doing right now. Kind of just waiting for my son... Uh, wife to reach the age of 16 so they can get married. Hopefully start pumping out kids. We'd like to inherit... Whoa, 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 Oh, no. Ida, that was, um... Gerhardt's wife? Aww. After a period of illness, huh? You sure about that? You sure it wasn't because she gave birth? She died in childbirth? It sure looks that way. So, yeah, it was definitely in childbirth. Aww. Wilhelm, my nephew. His poor mama died. Oh, that's sad. Well, let's get the old brother married again. Gerhard, uh, you're 20. You got two kids, you need somebody young that can nurse your baby and uh, potentially father more children with, right? You were married to the freaking... Well, she was the princess, wasn't she? Yes. She was... M brother to the king of England. So you are used to living high on the hog here when it comes to wives. Uh, maybe I should look for somebody who would be similarly prestigious for you to marry. Perhaps another princess. Aw, that's sad. Poor young girl. Died in childbirth. She was young, too. All these damn courtiers. Where's a princess when you need her? Oh, for the love of God. You know, maybe a princess would be just too busy for him. He's got two kids. He just lost his wife. Maybe he wants, like, a quiet... <sighs> quiet life now, you know? Here we go. Gisela. Courtier in Friuli. She's German. She's Catholic. She wants to get married. And she would be a pretty powerful... Um, not, I mean, obviously he's not gonna, she's not going to be a spy master. But um, she would help keep her husband safe, I presume. Hmm. Gerhardt would gain zero prestige for marrying in a house and negative 100. No, I guess he wouldn't go for that, would he? No, 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 he wouldn't go for that. Okay, let's try again. Gerhardt. Dear brother. Yeah, you were married to a princess, though. That's, that's hard to... Hard to duplicate. Here we go. Princess of Byzantine Empire. How about this? Whoa! Gerhard and Princess Anna get married as relative of a duke. Gerhard would gain 40 prestige from marrying into House Komnenos and 200 from marrying the relative of a Basilius. Sure. Bit of an age difference. 
could say matrilineal and just have him move out, but no. He just lost his wife. That's sad. Okay, go get married. Brother, marry that princess. You've got a thing for princesses, apparently. You like the Ice King. To the glorious Duke Dietrich III, may you live in harmony and contentment. I accept your suggestion that Gerhardt and Princess Anna get married. Anna Komnenos has arrived. Dietrich, my second son, asks, since we all die anyway, why be so hassled about life? Uh, I already answered this with Dieter. What did I say? Cynical. Uh, oh, but also hedonistic. Yes, this is what I said. I said, what about the enjoyment? And I gave my poor older son Dieter uh, the gluttonous trait. Let's hope that he, that Dietrich doesn't get it. Eh, he got gluttonous too. No, he got lustful. Uh-oh. Dietrich seems to constantly spend time with the opposite sex. He has gained the lustful trait. Oh, you little horn dog! You take after your father. A son was born to Henri Chatenois and Eremberga de Conversano, named Simon. Welcome to the family, Simon. Henry is... Oh, he named it after his father. Oh, that's awfully nice. Simon's still alive, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's still alive and kicking. 56-year-old brother of mine. He's 20 years older than me. Holy cow, I didn't realize there was that big of an age difference. Count Siegfried of Fowls, presumably. Yes, Siegfried, who's 60 years old, boy. Has arrested an armed man with ragged armor and a spotty horse. He says that the man claims to be a hedge knight, but clearly, clearly does not believe that statement. Order the hedge knight released. That is clearly a bandit. Well, Siegfried's my marshal. He likes me quite a bit. Um... And I am positively inclined towards him, so I think I'd just go with his his impression. That's clearly a bandit. I lose five prestige, he gains ten. Huh, okay. Strange, but there you go. Hmm. Oh, my domain potential size went up to four at some point. Uh, College of Cardinals, yeah, yeah. Boy, I really, I would really like to revoke a title from somebody and have some more counties myself, but... Who likes me the least? Do I dare piss anybody off? Reno likes me the least. Hang on, wait for the autosave. I could revoke Verdun for negative 50 prestige. He'd hate me, and other vassals would not like me too much. Uh, and he would say no, which means he'd rebel, probably. Uh, no, not a good idea, I don't think. Seeing another woman behind my spouse's back is becoming quite troublesome for me. The lies tear at my soul, and my longing to be with my lover is almost too much. What did I say last time? I said I'd give it a shot, didn't I? And nothing has really changed. I'm still hedonistic. I'm still deceitful. I think I would I would keep it up. Ugh, brother. Poor Baldwin. Has no idea his wife is boning me. Yeah, look at that. He generally likes me. Poor bastard. 19-year-old dope. Okay. Here we go. Hope I don't get stressed. Ah, I'm stressed. Man, role-playing this game is just suicidal. If you can't make decisions strategically and you have to make them based on your character, it really, really hampers your ability to do any kind of building, you know. Oh! The assassins scatter. With the fall of their last fortress, the Hashashin, the notorious assassin order, has been scattered to the winds. The few remaining members of the order have gone into hiding, biding their time in the vain hope that they will one day be able to resume their work. 
Their demise was inevitable, says my guy who has nothing to do with the situation. Hassan the Silent. Okay, nice. Uh, fine, I guess. I don't know. That doesn't affect me at all. Whoa! Kaiser Heinrich the Great has declared Holy Roman French de jure war over Brugge on King Fleury the Just. Okay, so let's see. I'm hostile to everybody in France, pretty much. Hmm. Oh, big rebellion happening down here, it looks like. Oh, look at England. Whoa. Shit's gone crazy up here. There's a revolt here. And a revolt there. And a revolt here. And this is all one revolt, presumably. There's this. Winchester is... Independent? Or is it... Looks like it's independent. Huh. English Revolt. Petty Kingdom of Gwynedd. Got Ireland up here. Nothing's happening in Ireland. It's all still independent. And what is this? Duke Olaf of Norway. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes some sense. But look at this. Look at this. Englishmen running the French coast. France is not faring too well now, is it? Well, the Muslims still hold most of Spain. Sorry, I'm taking a little break here to kind of check things out. Oh, Ghana, oh my gosh. Byzantines, Croatia, Hungary, Poland. Pomerania is its own thing. Sweden's kind of chewed up. But Norway's getting into Sweden's business there. Fens. Hmm. Look at that map. Yeah, the Holy Roman Empire is pretty much the premier power in Europe. What with France kind of being eaten apart. And England being eaten apart, dealing with revolts and things. Whoa. Uh, okay, so what do I want to do here? Should I raise any levies? I don't even know. I only raise 159. Um, of my vassals, I mean. Which would not be enough to really defeat any of these armies marching around. And I don't know that I get any prestige from winning battles anyway, because... Ah, eh. oh, what the hell. Let's do it. Nothing else to do. Combine these armies. Yes. Um, 624 men. Let's give it some time. I'm going to take the speed down to 2. Let's give it some time to build our morale up. Um, and then we'll start marching towards whatever army we think we can actually take. That's nearby. Dietrich Chatenois is now of legal age. He became a misguided warrior. Okay, my son takes after me because I'm also a misguided warrior. I kind of suck. Deceitful, proud, patient, diligent, kind, and lustful. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's get you married. Dietrich. Hmm. Princess of Byzantine Empire. Princess of Holy Roman Empire. Hey, yeah. I like that. He would say yes. Oh, this would be quite good, I think. Increase his opinion of me, probably, being that he would be related uh, in some regard. Dietrich, guess what, buddy? You're going to marry a princess. Of the Empire, no doubt. Uh, no less. Crazy. Okay. Morale's up. Let's march into Saint-Trois.
Hmm. Magnificent Duke Dietrich. Duke Dietrich, may you live in harmony and contentment. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Dietrich and Princess Sibyl. Excellent. Uh, let's march to Bar. And from there, perhaps to Reem? Rem? Rhyme? Whatever it is. Maybe we can take on this army of 500 here. Possibly. Uh oh. Of course, we have that 2,000 there to worry about. Yep. Oh, we're going to get our clocks cleaned. Get out of there! You can't. You're just going to get s smashed. Uh, this is a bad idea. Defeat! <laughs> I lost. I lost three prestige. Ugh, what a clown. That guy's such a dope. Well, time to head home, boys! Morale's still up, though. We tried, my liege, we tried. Well, look at that. Occupied by Flanders. Okay, let's stand down then. Stand down, men. We uh, didn't really do anything there, did we? Should have probably attached ourselves to a more powerful army, but uh, we screwed up there. This fight, holy cow. That's a big one. Oh, man. Kaiser's armies are huge. He's going to take a lot of territory at this rate. Uh, Duke Ernst founded the faction there. Imprisoned Count Ulrich. Count Markward also imprisoned. Gerberga, my daughter, is ready to be educated. Whoa, I can have the freaking King of England educate? No, not that. I don't want to betroth. Hang on a second. Betrothing. No, wrong thing. Um, Bar will like me more. Yeah, good. Okay. Do that. So, are, are, is, is the Re Empire going to gain any territory here? What is he fighting for? Brug. Where's Brug? Ah, up here. Count, wait a minute, what happened? Oh, Count Siegfried of Falls died. Count Wilhelm of Falls, inherited county of Falls from Count Siegfried. Siegfried died of a natural death. Well, okay, so I need a new marshal and I need to check out what my relationship with Falls is here. I don't like him, but he apparently likes me. He's got a lot of sons. Okay. Well, he likes me okay. Let's find a new marshal. Oh, my son's ambition is to become marshal, and it looks like he's going to fill it because he's the best I've got. Fine. Why don't you research military tech here? My dear son. Excellent. A good, good training, uh, you know, position for him. He can learn how to administer power. Duke Umbert of Savoy has founded the Duke Umbert of Savoy for Holy Roman Empire. Yep. Holy Roman uh, French de jure war over Brugge has ended Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser won. Oh, look at that. He's got Brugge now. Man, his power grows apace. Good. Now there's not there's not an ugly little purple county there. That's nice. My liege, my mission to Nassau has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Kaiser Heinrich the Great, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Excellent. Well done, Gerhard, my brother. So my brother's my chancellor. My son is my marshal. 
Not related. Not related and not related. Hmm. Still stressed out. Uh. Hope I don't die. Good job, Gerhard. Well done. Uh, now what's the Kaiser's opinion of me? Uh, it's gonna go up to about 54, I think. Yuppers. Good. Nicely done. Cardinal added to College of Cardinals. Hmm? What's going on over here? What is this? Uh, hang on. Occupied by Elbrecht of Messian Revolt. Who's revolting? We got Slavic uprisings. We got Mess Mess Messian Revolt. Okay, so that's Duke Heinrich. So who's Albrecht? Albrecht is who is this guy? Just some dude. What's his position? He's not. He's somebody, but he doesn't have any position apparently. No, wait. County of Plauen. So he's the Count of Plauen. Ah, I see. Hmm. Ambitious. Very ambitious. Right. Okay. So wait, is my son married yet? Yes. Wait. Why haven't they not gotten married? Hang on a second. Dangerous factions. There are powerful dissident factions in your realm. Gerhard for Upper Lorraine. Uh-oh. Factions in the Holy Roman Empire. Factions in the Duchy of Upper Lorraine. Count Wilhelm of Fals is the leader. Gerhard, my brother, is the claimant. How do I get rid of a faction? I don't know how to get rid of a faction. Uh, I thought I could ask him to end it like a plot, but... Wait, he does, he, I don't like him, but he likes me just fine. Why does he want my brother to rule? I don't understand it. Well, let's just ride it out for now, I suppose. Don't really know what to do with it. Rudolf Chatenois, my son... My youngest son, no less, um, is now of legal age. He's become Midas touched. Oh, his traits are better than his brother's. Man. I do still have elective. No, I did get him married to, well, they're not married yet. Why are they not married? Hmm? She's 16, why have they not gotten married? I guess I can't do that until, I, well, I'll just have to wait then, I guess. I don't know. I was gonna say, I guess I can't get them married until I would also have to break the betrothal to find her again to marry them, but I'm not sure why they haven't gotten married. Usually once she turns 16, it just happens. Not sure what the holdup is, but meanwhile Rudolph is got some really good traits. Um, hmm. Um, how about the Princess of Poland? Why not? She's about your age. She's Catholic. 
And she wants to marry. Well, she wants to marry a ruler, though. Oh, Elizabeth. Princess of Sweden. Yeah, here we go. Much better. And they would say yes. The king of Sweden would say yes. Okay, fine. Another alliance. Don't know what that's going to do for me right now, really. But dangerous faction. I just don't know what to do about that, honestly. King of Sweden agrees to get married. Not to me, but to have his daughter marry my son. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What? The Kaiser wants to educate Gerberge, my daughter. No, he wants the Grand Mayor of Werner. Uh, Grand Mayor of Werner of Ancona to become the guardian and mentor of little Gerberge Chatenois so she can be raised, raised as a proper German. Yeah, that's fine, sure. You name it. Uh, Kaiser, and you get it. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this faction. Not really sure. Well, let the autosave happen here, and I think that we'll end our play session here. Um, and maybe I'll wait a little while to play until I can figure out what the heck it is I'm supposed to do about this faction. Very dangerous faction. 87%. Oh my god, 98% my strength. To install my brother. Well, hmm. Hmm. Should have married him matrilineal. Matrilineally would have gotten them out of the court. Okay, yes, we'll we'll try to try to figure out what we should do with that next time. Uh, and until then, I hope that you are enjoying this, and I will see you then. Take care, everyone.